Welcome back friends. Kwenye video hii nataka tuangalie baadhi ya weekly examples. Kwenye pati ambazo tumesoma about equilibrium constant and equilibrium law, tunaangalia some of the weekly examples. Maswali yanakujaje kwenye kwenye mtihani? So, kwa mfano hii swali hapa unaona given that a plus b equilibrium c plus d a plus b equilibrium c plus d the reaction has kc is equal to 10 at 25 degree centigrade find the equilibrium constant kc for the following reaction at temperature ile ile kumbuka tuseme equilibrium constant haibadiliki kama temperature iko vile vile umepewa reaction hapo ya ku find ni 2a plus 2b then equilibrium 2c plus 2d a uh, Jibla hili swali ni ni moja lakini sasa hapo maana tunataka tuone njia. Kwa hiyo kama unakumbuka ni sema kwamba hii reaction ukiangalia ukikompare hii reaction uliyopewa na hii hapa. Reaction uliyopewa KC yake na hii hapa. Utaona kwamba hii reaction imetokana na kumultiply hii reaction by 2. Na tulisema kwamba ukimultiply reaction kwenye KC unaenda unaweka exponent sawa sawa na ile namba walio multiply. Kwa hiyo Tukisema kwamba solution KC ya ile given reaction KC ya reaction ya kule juu hii hapa reaction KC yake itakuwa ni concentration of C concentration of D divided by concentration of A concentration of B Indo KC ya reaction hapa tuliyopewa Na ukija kuangalia hii hapa reaction ya chini hii labda tuite KC1 KC2 now ya reaction ya pili itakuwa ni concentration of C square concentration of D square kwa sababu hapa tunaweka hizo stoichiometric coefficient concentration of A square concentration of B square kwa ukiweka hivyo hii ni sawa sana uka remove square yote ukaweka nje ukaweka KC2 ni sawa sana concentration of C concentration of D of divided by concentration of A concentration of nini of b square na remember but each kitu kilichopo ndani concentration of c concentration of d then divided by concentration of a concentration of b this is equal to kc1 so thus kc2 is equal to kc1 square so the kc of the second reaction will be equal to 10 square that is equal to 100. Kwa hiyo hivyo ndivyo ambavyo swali liko natakiwa kufanyika hiyo example ya kwanza. Ah uh, example ya ya pili ni hiyo hapo. Umepewa reaction mbili. Umepewa AB equilibrium C alafu umepewa PQ equilibrium RST. Ah uh, niziandike hizo hapo reaction A plus B equilibrium then c after na p ku plus q equilibrium then r plus s plus t kc ya hii reaction ni ngapi ni 10 dm cube per mole hii hapa ni ngapi kc mi niite kc1 hapa kc2 ni ngapi ni 100 mole per dm cube So anyway uh, ni kwamba nataka tuangalie tu wamekwambia find the equilibrium constant for the reaction hii reaction hapa chini wamekupaje wamekupa ni a ku plus b ku plus p plus q alafu hapo unaweka equilibrium kuna c plus r plus s plus t kwa hiyo ukiangalia unagundua kwamba hii reaction reactant hizi hapa ndio hizi hapa C ambayo ni product ni hapa. PQ kwa unagundua kwamba wali add is reaction. What is add is reaction. Kwa uki add reaction tuisema KC unazifanyaje? Unazimultiply. Unaweza kaona tu hata hapo kwamba KC1 ya kwa sasa nini? Na concentration of C divided by concentration of A concentration of B. Lakini KC2 itakuwa sana nini? Concentration of R concentration of S concentration of t divided by concentration of p 
concentration of Q. Kwa ukitaka kupata K3 ya hii reaction ya tatu, tuseme Kc3. Kc3 itakuwa sana concentration of C, concentration of R, concentration of S and concentration of T divided by concentration of A, concentration of B, concentration of P then concentration of Q. Kwa hapo utakuja kuona kwamba hii ni sawa kusema Kc3 ni sawa sana concentration of C concentration of A concentration of B then times times concentration of S concentration of T divided by concentration of P then concentration of Q so this expression represents Kc1 and this expression represents Kc2 so simply Kc3 will be equal to Kc1 times Kc Kc2 uh, Kc3 for this question itakuwa ni kumi mara moja. so kumi mara moja will be equal to F1 hii ndio Kc of the said reaction hiyo ni ni solved example 2 kwa sababu hapo alikuwa ameaddi na wakiaddi unaona kwamba Kc unaenda unazifanyaje una unazimultiply kwa unaona yeye hapa ameenda ni shortcut lakini hii njia hii njia i suggest this because some of teachers this is the solved example 1 and this is the solved example 2 some of teachers who are hawataka uende shortcut kwa hiyo ni vyema ukaenda njia ambayo utakuwa uko sure kwa majibu ya maswali mengi kwenye kwenye njia lakini toka hapo twende kwenye kwenye examples nyingine ambazo zipo zipo hapa e, example nyingine ni hiyo hapo example nyingine ni hiyo hapo na tunatumia page yangu hii uh, kwenye example nasema given that mpewa hizo reaction given that hydrogen fluoride aquas then inaenda kuform nini hydrogen ion aquas plus fluoride ion aquas kc1 mpewa ni ngapi 6.8 times 10 power negative 4 alafu mpewa reaction nyingine yopo e mpewa reaction nyingine yopo diethanoic acid aquas Afu hiyo hapo inaenda kuform equilibrium na nini? Na two hydrogen ions aquas. Alafu C2O4 to negative aquas. KC2 umpewa ni 3.8 times 10 power negative 6. Now so let's hapo amesema determine the value for the reverse reaction. Ah uh, reaction yetu mpewaje for the reaction mbili hydrogen fluoride aquas then umepewa nini c2 o4 2 negative aquas then equilibrium hapo ni 2 fluoride negative aquas then plus h2 c2 o for aquas kwa hiyo kwa hiyo swali hawajaweka solution lakini wametupa jibu ni 0.1217 kwa hapa ni kusolve hilo swali tufike hilo jibu 0.1217 now tuanze na solution na swali letu kwamba ukiangalia hii reaction ya mwisho hapo chini two hydrogen fluoride aquas alafu plus C2O4 to negative aquas then apo equilibrium two fluoride negative aquas alafu plus H2C2O4 aquas na jibu letu ni 0.1217 ukiangalia hii reaction utagundua kitu kimoja kwenye hii reaction ya kwanza ambayo ilikuwa ni hydrogen fluoride alafu aquas alafu apo equilibrium hydrogen yule pale aquas then plus fluoride ile pale aquas uta utagundua nini hapo utagundua kwamba 
Hydrogen zimepotea hapo kwenye hii reaction hazipo. Kwa zilipoteaje? Kwa sababu reaction ya pili ina hydrogen hapa. Unaona? Kwa hii reaction ya pili ina hydrogen kwenye upande wa product. Na ile reaction ya kwanza ina hydrogen kwenye upande wa product. Ili hydrogen za kwenye upande wa product zi cancel lazima manake reaction moja tu reverse. Ili reaction moja hydrogen ziwe kwenye reactant, reaction moja hydrogen ziwe kwenye product hapo ndo tutaweza ku cancel lakini remember kwamba ili reaction ya pili na hydrogen mbili ya kwanza ina hydrogen moja kwa hiyo hatuwezi zika cancel mbili kwa hydrogen moja lazima kwanza na hii hapa tuzifanye ziwe mbili tunazifanyaje mbili tuna multiply reaction by 2 tuki multiply reaction by 2 itakuwa hivi wakati tulisema kwenye KC KC1 tuki multiply reaction by 2 hii hapa tuta square kwa hiyo itakuwa sawa ngapi 6.8 Uh, 6.8 times 10 power negative 4 then square so the resulting reaction 2 hydrogen fluoride aquas alafu equilibrium 2 hydrogen ions aquas uh, plus 2 fluoride ions aquas hii hapa itakuwa ina kc1 square ambayo ni sana 6.8 times 10 power negative 4 square From there sasa hii reaction ya pili hii hapa tunatakiwa tu reverse ili hydrogen zije huko kwenye kwenye reactant. Kwa hiyo reverse hiyo reaction ya pili itaonekana ni 2 hydrogen ions aquas then plus C2O4 uh, C2O4 2 negative aquas then hapo utaweka equilibrium utapata H2C2O4 aquas. Kwa sababu tume reverse reaction kwenye KC tutafanyaje? Tuta reciprocate. Kwa hiyo the resulting KC itakuwa ni 1 over KC2. 1 over KC2 ambayo ni sawa sana ngapi? Na 1 over 3.80 times 10 power times 10 power negative 6. Kwa hiyo baada ya hapo hizi reaction mbili tutatakiwa kuzaddd. Tutakiwa kuzaddd hizi reaction. Kwenye kuzaddd ile pale na ile pale zita zitaisha so tabakia na 2 hydrogen fluoride naona alaf plus hiyo hapo C2O4 2 negative hii hapa ni aquas na hii hapa ni nini ni aquas hizi hapa zitaenda kuform equilibrium huku tutapata nini 2 fluoride ions aquas then plus H2 C2O4 aquas asa kwa sababu hizi reaction mbili tumeziadi kwenye KC tunafanyaje tuna multiply so the resulting KC3 of this reaction will be is equal to KC1 square multiplied by 1 over KC2 to multiply hii na hii manake kwa manake KC3 itakuwa sawa nini 6.8 times 10 power negative 4 square ganya kwa 3.8 kwa sababu hii ni sawa sana kusema ni KC1 square divided by KC2 kwa hiyo 3.8 times 10 power negative 6 ah nikichukua calculator yangu hapa na nikaingiza hizo data ah nikaingiza hizo data hapo kama hujui kutumia hii calculator nenda tu kuna kuna kipindi huko cha calculating device kipo kwenye channel hii kwa hiyo rudi tu nyuma utaona jinsi gani tunatumia hii calculator 6.8 x point negative 4 oh ngoja niweke ni bracket 6.8 x point negative 4 then square uh it we divide to moja kwa moja e, to divide na 3.8 x point negative 6 kwaona kuja kuona kwamba jibla yetu tumekuja kupata kc3 ni sawa sana 0.1268 kwa hapo ndo walikadiria wakaweka moja saba. so our answer is correct kutokana na lile jibu ambalo walikuwa wameandika pale kwenye kwenye swali letu ah lakini pia kuna solved example hapa nyingine ambayo hii hapa inahusiana na equilibrium constant pamoja na rate of chemical reaction now given the reaction nitrogen gas 
plus three hydrogen gas then apo tapata ni two NH3 gas so at sabina sita centigrade the forward and the reverse rate rate constant r mpewa k forward ni sasana 0.13 iyo ni m per second na mpewa k reverse ni sasana sita 0.02 times 10 power negative 4 m per second what is the value for equilibrium constant kc kwa equilibrium constant kc tulishia sema ni sasana k forward divided by k reverse so kc will be equal to 0.13 divided by sita 0.02 times 10 exponent negative 4 ah kigiza kwa calculator hii haitakuwa 0.13 divided by 6.06 oh 6.02 exponent negative exponent negative 4 kuna kwamba ji black okay c itakuwa sana 215.947 e, ni vyema tu unapenda kuandika jibu kwenye 3 decimal places kama hivyo kwa hiyo hilo ndio jibu la swali kwa hapa kwa hapa naweza tu nika nikaandikia hapa jibu answer ni 215.947 na hizi notes zote zitakuwaepo kule Telegram group. Ah, uh, huu ndio mwisho wa solve the examples, a week the examples part 1. Na kwa kadi ya mavu ninaendelea na topic tutakuwa naweka week the example pia huko ndani. Kwa hiyo tutakuwa tunaendelea na week the examples na hizo notes si unaweza kuzipata kule Telegram group. Subscribe to channel na share video kwa wanafunzi wenzako ili tuweze kuendelea. Na kwenye next video tutaendelea na reaction quotient baada ya hapo nadhani ndo tutaanza calculation the equilibrium constant so stay tuned subscribe the channel and share the video to your fellow students thank you